Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're fitting 37. So we're not just fitting any rims and tires. These are 37 by 13 and a half on a true aluminium beadlock. Now these are Chinese tires and Chinese rims. Um, but I've heard good things about them. I'm keen to try them out. I couldn't really afford like the real expensive one. These look mint. I chose the polished lip with the black face just because Kyle's got that black theme going on. The full polished, I think, would have looked a bit, bit iffy. But anyway, um, I'm super keen to get these fitted up. Now, I can fit bead locks myself here at the shop. I'll show you guys how to do it. You don't need a tire machine, but you do need to take your time and it does take a lot of time. I know the 33s have always been a little bit too small for this car and the offset's a little bit wrong. So the 37 is probably going to be a bit too big for this car. Um, but yeah, I'm super keen to get these on. They look freaking me. Now before we start, I just want to say I'm very aware of the rabbit hole that 37s create. Um, you know, you got to support the 37s. So probably going to have to upgrade the diffs. Diffs in this thing are 411s. We'll probably have to go to a 4.6 and we possibly have to go some reduction gears in the back, but it's all content and uh, I'm excited to see the difference with 37s. I'm gonna start a little assembly line here. Uh, I'm gonna lay the tires down and we've gotta sit the rim in them and then put the bead lock on top. I'll show you guys how to do it, but first we need to just lay everything out, get organized. Do need to talk these to spec, so I'm just gonna get all my tools out and uh, yeah, just start this little production line of 37s. Seriously, so keen to see what this looks like. These things are huge. Right, so this wheel here is actually just dummy fit. Um, I just wanted to put the rim in the tire and sit it up against the patrol. At the time when I did that, I didn't have any valves or balance beads, so this wheel does have to get disassembled. This is all just loose anyway. It actually looks fat like that. I wish that's how it looked, but anyway. Now that that's pushed through, I can pull a valve stem through the wheel, which there's a hole for it up here. This is gonna go. Behind. And you want the rim sitting in the center. That's actually what the bead of the tire is actually gonna sit in. And then our um, ring is actually gonna clamp that bead down. What that allows as opposed to another rim is basically if you run like say, you go down to 15 PSI and you hit something, this tire can potentially bounce off and end up like this and you de-bead it on the track. This way, it can't really happen. Right, so it's about an hour later, I actually ran out of space on the SD card. Uh, so I had to go inside and quickly format the card, but I'm down to the last rim. I have basically done three. Now I haven't put the balance beads in them yet, but they're all torqued up, all the bead lock is, is sorted. So we are down to the last one. So I'm gonna check you guys on a quick time lapse so you can watch the whole process of doing a whole rim. Um, it is very time consuming. I'm getting a little bit faster at it, but you can't really rush the, the process of doing the torque setting. So. Um, I'm talking them 10, 15, and 20 foot pounds. All right, so time lapse time.
seriously, doing up all those bolts is pretty hard work, but all four are done. I'm gonna go enjoy Mother's Day with my family and I'm gonna come back, do the balancing beads, hopefully be able to fit them up. I'm just not sure about the lug nuts yet, if I can use mine or if I have to race down the shop and get some more. But anyway, done for now. I'm gonna go chill out. I'll catch you guys in a sec. The next day. It honestly just feels so crazy to walk outside with my coffee and start working on the road life stuff. Cause normally I gotta drive from my unit to work and then work and then it's stressful. But now, own space, loving it. But anyway, let's get cracking on these wheels. Um, balancing beads. Yeah, let's put some balancing beads in there. So what we have here is 10 ounce bags of uh, what we call balancing beads. Now what these basically do inside the tire is as you spin, they sort of self balance. The biggest benefit is as your tires wear out, they wear uneven. Um, you might wear one side of the tire, so it throws it out of balance. These actually constantly keep these wheels in balance. So yeah, balancing beads, 37 inch tires is pretty much a must. And yeah, hopefully we can get these in without spilling one of them because these are perfectly weighed to 10 ounces. I can hear them moving around, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Holy crap boys. Look how freaking thick that is. Holy crap. It's a nine inch wide rim and it's a 13 and a half inch tire. We get this massive sidewall, which I think is really, really cool because it's gonna protect this lip it's also when we air down gonna like basically we're just got we're gonna be like a caterpillar just climbing up stuff so yeah first one done it looks so beefy time to get on with the other three it looks insane when you see it next to a 33 holy crap even the width of it is so different look at the size difference oh my lord now one of the only things I don't know is if these lug nuts will fit. If they don't, I'm gonna have to race off and grab some, but that's cool. If they do, we're on for a party. Uh, probably gonna do, in all honesty, probably gonna do the back first, cause I know that they're gonna fit. Back first, hopefully lug nuts fit. We'll see how we go. Get to bust out the new tool bro jack. So that's exciting. And the jack stands, I'm gonna use them as well. that looks like a stock wheel that is crazy this is gonna look freaking sick I'm just really curious look at the scales oh it's in pounds I'm gonna have to change that but anyway eighty five point five pounds 114 so these are heavier but hey Siri What's 114 pounds in kilogram? 114 pounds is 51.71 kilograms. Look at the difference. Like, look how small that front wheel looks now. It looks like a mini wheel. It's time to do the other side. I won't record that. I'll just get it done. Then we can move on to the front. Look at even from here, they just fit so well inside a guard it's like literally perfect two hours later straight away my thoughts are these wheels suit this car so much and they're the perfect size a little bit worried that 37s are too big but they just suit this car to a t let me show you guys um i've dropped the roller door so it's not too bright in here but holy crap doesn't this thing just look massive now but honestly not like too out of place if that makes sense they they actually fit very very well the five inch lift is just perfect for these tires but geez it just made it look so much better i've had these wheels for like a month and because of the move i haven't been able to get them on but geez look at that oh 
not massive. Will it scrub is the question right now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, jump start the battery because it's dead. I'm gonna put it full lock both sides. We're gonna have a look at the clearance because at the moment, I'm about three fingers from here. Obviously when that turns, it gets a little bit different. So I wanna test that out, but I reckon we're looking pretty good. So these are a 17 by nine, they're a neg 30. And you can see, obviously the wheels turned a little bit, but they just fit really, really well. Does that look amazing? I freaking love it. I love these wheels. The China wheels, they are mint. There's clear and silly. We've got plenty of clearance. This is at least two millimeters. I actually can't get over how freaking good this looks. So I just wanted to quickly jack it up as much as I can to see how much flex we can get without it hitting. But honestly, I think we're gonna be pretty good. Obviously, I do need to set the bump front and rear. So what I'll do is I'll actually take the coils out of the back and let it drop down. Then we'll make a spacer for the bump stop so we don't basically flex out and destroy either this guard or the chassis or something like that. That is the biggest tire I've ever ran as massive. We just sort of skipped the 35s, went straight to the 37s. Obviously I'm cheering inside, but that's just, just looks mental. I'm so stoked with that. But that's all we have time for today, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe because there's going to be plenty more. But for now, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace out.